Welcome back to Terminator Genesis Rise of the Resistance, where you have a blind person, obviously, playing the game. That's me. Uh, oh my goodness. Ay, ay, ay. I don't know why I'm not seeing this. I feel, I, it looks like a door or something. I, I don't know what I was thinking. Anyway, I did it two episodes ago. I did it last episode. When the Terminators come out of here, they should be cutting across here and shooting at the truck. Ooh. So, I moved this guy over here as a correction at the end of the last episode, yeah, which was wrong. So we're going to have him go one and two, and when it gets here, it can shoot at the truck. So we're going to take a shot at the truck, kind of retro uh, from last episode, to try and address that. Anything coming out at one or two should be coming this way. Apologize for that error. Like I said, I don't know, I'm just seeing these double lines, all these four lines there, and I'm, I don't know why I was thinking it was a wall or something. It's not. All right, let's get the dice tray, roll up that uh, T-800. Shooting at the truck, I don't believe... Uh, the truck had its uh, thing taken off it, but as a penalty, we're going to say it doesn't resist the damage. So let's get to the tray and roll up that attack. All right, keeping in mind, the first damage would go to the truck. The second damage goes to an occupant, which would either be Alex or Kyle. Let's hope we don't get any damage at all. That would be good. We get one. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I am going to give the truck one more damage uh, to try and make up for all of my goofs. All right, let's give the truck another damage. Yeah, I have a feeling we wouldn't have won this scenario unless with, without me cheating uh, or, being, or being enabled to see the, the path of the Terminators. All right, that's where we're going to sit. So it's got, we're into a new round now. So it has one damage. It can bounce. It could take two more. If it takes two more damage, we lose the scenario. All right, let's take a look at the situation and figure out who's going first. Oh, the situation is looking pretty grim. I think we are, oh man, I think we're going to have Alex going first, and this is very dangerous, well, for many reasons. Anyway, let's roll his dice. I'm going to have him go first. I have a cunning plan. <laughs> that probably won't work. Let's get the dice tray, roll up Alex's blue dice. Alex has one command, a rank token left. Uh, we need, we need some good rolls on the dice. Come on, Alex. Come on! Oh, oh yeah! We're taking that. We don't even have to re-roll anything! Perfect. All right, let's get to the board. Have Alex take his turn. All right, starting off, Alex will use a five. Oh, hang on. Is he damaged? He, uh... Ooh, he's got a couple of wounds on him, but you know what? We're not going to worry about that right now. He's going to use the five to drive the truck. Driver's seat. And if you use a five or six at any time during movement, you can destroy an adjacent enemy or obstacle at any time. We are going to be trying to uh, get to the exit. So with a five, he's going to go one, two, three. And as soon as we get to here, he has two movement remaining. And we have to take a look at this. And it is um, beta B. So let's take a look in the book. We'll put that on the driver's position of the driver's seat and see what it says for B. All right, it says our small convoy continued down the deserted road. At least we hoped it was deserted. The closer we got to the base before encountering any more machines, the better chance we'd have to accomplish our mission. A familiar whine filled the air as blinding halogen searchlights stabbed through the night. I risked my neck for a quick peek outside to the sky. A nearby squad of HK drones was uh, executing a search pattern over the ruins, searching for humans, searching for us. Uh, yeah, should we stop them, the driver asked, try to hide? Or should we stop, try to drive? Negative. They've already spotted us, John replied. The endos will be coming right behind them. Keep moving. Our only chance is to reach the base before they do. Okay, replace the waypoint token with the next two enemies of your color in the enemy pool and flip enemy Bravo over to the heavy side. Okay, that's actually not horrible. Let's get that set up. All right, and kind of get everything in here. So Bravo is going to flip to the heavy side. So now it's going to be spawning on two and three. We already have a one and two at alpha. This gets replaced with the next two enemies from uh, Alex. So that's one. And the next one in line is a hunter killer. Um, well, we'll put the hunter killer. We'll put it back adjacent to the spawn point. Okay, and then we continue on with Alex's move, which is all good because he has two movement left. And any time during his movement, he can crush one enemy. So he might as well go ahead and run over the T-800 in his way. He has two movement remaining. Uh, so he'll just go one, and he'll end his movement there. Excellent. All right, we'll back the camera out, and he's got another move to do. All right, and he's going to do the same thing. He's going to use a six 
on the truck driver's uh, seat movement, which means at any time during your movement, yep, he can crush this guy. So he's going to run smash into the hunter killer. Uh, I'm going to put Bravo up here as anywhere in this spot. We have to have the truck and all of our characters to win the game. So he gets to move six, one, two, three, and they're in the, they're in the spot. So three, done. So he, they have made it. Oh, I guess Bravo goes away. They have made it to where they need to be. We just need to get our Guardian Terminator over there. Can we do it? He still has a three and a one left. He'll use the one to... Ah, what's he going to do with the one? I think he's going to heal his one wound. So we'll go ahead and do that. All right, so Kyle has healed. He had two wounds. He healed one of them. He's got a three left. He is six miles away from shooting anything. I mean, we could have a move one, two, three to here. You know what? We're going to, uh, we'll do that just in case. We're going to go one, two, three. We're going to move Kyle here. You don't have to be in the truck. You just have to be in waypoint echo location. And they are. Uh, and that's going to be, that's going to be a movement for him. So that's all good. And that's, well, and it'll also, if, uh, if anything gets close enough to shoot at him, it'll shoot at him instead of the truck. Because we don't want the truck to blow up. Because if it blows up now, we lose the game. All right, he's going to roll up now for uh, reinforcements. All right, two dice for reinforcements. And yeah, this might be pretty terrible. A couple, wow, a couple of fives. Ha! That's as far away as they can possibly get. I love it. Let's, uh, oh, and for him, the next two is going to be a T72 and a T800. All right, so at five, we get a T72 and we get a T800 and they're a long ways off. All right, on the back camera way out, we are going to have all of the blue enemies activate and yeah, see what happens. All right, the camera's back way off, and let's start with this T-800. It's going to go one, two, three, four, and we'll shoot at our Guardian Terminator. This one is going to go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, man, it can shoot at our Guardian Terminator. No, oh, what if he goes down? Oh, man. We have another one in here. It's going to try and cut up through here. One, two, three, four. I has no bead to anything. Um, what was that? Did I get them all? And then we get the T72. We'll try cutting through here. One, two, three, four. No bead to anybody. And one, two, three, four. No bead to anybody. So that's it. So the bottom line here is we have two T800s shooting at our Guardian Terminator. Our Guardian Terminator can take a total of three more wounds before he's downed. Let's get to the dice tray and hope for some luck. All right, if we ever want to be lucky, now is the time. Attacking with three dice, this is going to happen twice. And the first attack is going to be <laughs> one damage. Ooh, this is getting painful. One damage. He's got one, two more he can take. And then he's down. Let's get the second attack happening. Okay, this is it. The second attack. If he gets two damage on our Guardian Terminator, we're going to be in real trouble. Okay, oh, and our Guardian Terminator does a good job, because if he rolls a fist, he gets to negate one hit. So there we go. He doesn't even take a hit from the second T-800. It's all good. Let's get back to the board and see what we're going to do next. All right, our Guardian Terminator did what he needed to do. He guarded, uh, which means uh, if we can get him over to Waypoint Echo... Oh, shoot, I shouldn't have put Alex there. He's blocking. Oh, man. <laughs> anyway, our Guardian Terminator has a special ability. He gets plus one on his movement dice, so... And he has one command token left. Let's get to the dice tray and roll up his dice. Now would be the time to get some really high numbers to win the scenario. Uh, I wonder if a couple fours is enough. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Um, we don't even need to re-roll anything. But you know what? We're going to re-roll the one and two anyway with his final command token. He gets another. Oh, he gets a five. Okay, cool. All right, that's he blew his last command token to re-roll, and let's get to uh, him taking his actions. I do believe we have just won. Now, can he pull off a really interesting uh, parting shot? I'm going to see if he can. Just give me one second. 
to do some calculations here and we'll come right back. Oh, I wanted to move up and do an attack, but if he uses one of these dice for movement, then he's not going to be able to make it to the exit. So we're just going to have him go ahead and use the, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. He will use the two on his, uh, what is he using? His plasma assault rifle, which means he gets to roll three dice. I get doesn't get any rerolls or anything. He'll attack this hunter killer. All right, three dice attacking the hunter killer with his plasma rifle. And he blows it out of the sky with six hits. Nice. All right, a little bit of a parting shot there with his plasma assault rifle. He still has a five, a four, and another four. He's going to put the four on his plasma shotgun, which doesn't give him any benefits. He gets to roll four dice. He'll shoot at another hunter killer. This time it's four dice against the hunter killer. And he gets... Three hits, it dodges one. He gets to blow that one up with his plasma shotgun. Oh yeah, nicely done. Blows that one away with a plasma shotgun. And now he's going to use movement for his final two. He'll use the four for movement, which gives him a plus one movement because he's got the assault class. So move number one, he can go five. He'll go one, two, three, four, five. And his final move is going to be five plus one, six. And with a movement of six, he's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, and sit right here. And that is the end of the scenario, and we've won because everybody is in Waypoint Echo. All right, we got to read, I guess, what happens at the end. All right, all of our characters are in. All right, let's read Waypoint Echo. It says, at last, we were within sight of our target. The base loomed out of the darkness like the metal concentration camp it was. Perimeter-mounted spotlights blazed everywhere, turning night into day. The only way in was through a corridor of laser beams for walls, ready to incinerate anything they touched. Showtime, John said, moving between the twin rows of soldiers, filling the truck's cargo bay up to the window between the cargo area and the front. You ready, Alex? All systems are go, the hacker replied from space behind our new driver. A hacked T-800 we hoped would get us through the front gate. Let's do it, John said. Everyone get ready, this is it. We buttoned up the back to better conceal our forces, leaving up us all in stifling darkness the next few minutes were going to be hell then we heard an alarm go off outside followed by the whip whip of plasma weapons firing oh man they made us john said slapping a detonator on the shaped charges mounted underneath our truck he leaped into the popped up turret mounted plasma cannon in the back all forces move in go 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 with a roar soldiers piled out of the damaged truck plasma beams seared the air around us that doesn't matter though we were inside if the truck and the token are inside the zone and all characters in the zone, the mission ends. So there we go with a with a blaze of glory at the end. We just took down. We got. We finished mission four with a little bit of cheating because I didn't see the path that the Terminator should have taken. But anyway, I had a lot of fun playing this game. That's it. We have successfully won. Uh, so let's take a look. What is the mission uh, objectives? Well, we got the mission objective complete. Truck and all characters are within the zone. Uh, players lose, the truck's destroyed. It wasn't, it was almost was. And campaign rules, all characters keep their weapons and equipment. And this time we get to shuffle the level three weapon equipment decks into the respective decks. No more rank tokens, but we get the level three equipment in next time when we get to mission five. And what's mission five? Storming the, car the courtyard. So as a little pre-mission five picture, there we go, there's John. Top of the truck, the gun, all right, there we go. That's gonna be it, so thanks so much for watching along. I apologize for the errors. I don't know what I was what I was looking at. Like I said, I thought it was a wall, it's not. It was an open space, so there we go. Uh, what's coming up next is Adventure Tactics Mission 3. Uh, as per, the votes were so close, the one in the last poll, that be, between uh, this game, uh, the uh, Dragon Inn, and the Adventure Tactics. We're all so close, I'm going to do them all. So up, coming up next will be Adventure Tactics Mission 3. Probably be in a couple days or so. Uh, and we'll get to that. We've already leveled up our characters a couple of times. There is Adventure Tactics 1 and Mission 1 and Mission 2. I've already done on my channel. If you just do a quick search, you'll find that. If you want to watch ahead of time before I get the next one up. And appreciate watching along. Uh, it really helps my channel. Thanks for uh, any likes, dislikes, participation, comments. Everything helps. I really appreciate it. So... Thanks so much, and we'll see you next time for another complete playthrough series. We're going to be doing Adventure Tactics Mission 3.